Topic is SGLT2 inhibitor in non-diabetic kidney disease and Dr. Hasinatul Jannat talk in favor of this. Dr. Hasinatul Jannat, please. Very good morning. Uh, I am here on behalf of SGLT2 inhibitors in non-diabetic kidney disease. Uh, we are on debate and the audience before me all are learned. I think they are no more than me. I am not a pharmacist. I am not a diabetologist. I will only light on behalf of the positive things that will affect the renal system. There is a long slide about the beneficial effect of SGLT2 inhibitors. I know everybody here knows pros and cons about this session, about the benefit and disbenefit of the drug, but I only on put the few lights about the drug on renal effect. This is the beneficial effect for our uh, CVS for the drug. We all know that this drug is a anti-diabetic agent. So when there is a novel drug comes to our society, we try to say the benefit of the drug, risk of the drug, and that is assessed by uh, uh, RCTs, that is randomized control trial, which is the first or best evidence-based trial. And uh, initially, SGLT2 inhibitors were uh, uh, designed for RCT for diabetic patient. But during the RCT, they include diabetic and non-diabetic, and they uh, show that there are benefits not only for diabetic patient but also non-diabetic patient. And we know that diabetes is a disease which affects almost all parts of our body. And uh, if a drug gives positive vibes on not only diabetic but also the target organ that affects the diabetic, so it will be very better than only diabetic, anti-diabetic agent that can help us. Here come for this uh, drug, SGLT2 inhibitor. It is now a novel drug and it is a very uh, new vibe for worldwide that is uh, and, uh, added. Uh, Diabetic Association recommended is a first line drug for uh, anti-diabetic agent. But during the, a lot of studies about the diabetic and non-diabetic cases, they show there are some uh, primary and secondary uh, outcome. The primary outcome was diabetic control and some uh, beneficial effect that is heart failure, mortality, renal failure, mortality, all as decreases with this diabetic agent. But what is the secondary outcome? Secondary outcome is it can it protect the kidney? Can it decrease the protein uh, secretion by kidney? Does it has any other role uh, for preventing the kidney? Uh, that is differ from DKD, that is kidney, di diabetic kidney disease. So there is um, a lot of studies there, almost all are, uh, are cities and I want to uh, show some publication about this. This is the DAPA CKD trial, one of the largest CKD tri uh, mm, uh, drugs trial that is include above 4,000 people both diabetic and non-diabetic. It is uh, uh, about 60% patients were diabetic and above the 60% were non-diabetic. And they were, it is a, as it is RCT, both has same character of uh, uh, patient character. So it, this is showing the, a lot of trial about the SGLT inhibitors, that is IMPA, REG trial, CANVAS trial, CREDENCE trial, DAPA CKD trial and DAPA heart failure trial. I, will, uh, I just want to uh, explain the DAPA CKD trial here because I have short of times. It is about 4,000 and inclusion criteria was low GFR that is 25 to 75 uh, millimeter per minute and albuminuria only 200 up to 5,000 milligram per gram. And uh, where there is a 68% type 2 diabetes and uh, rest of them are non-diabetic average time period was 2.4 years. Here, they uh, show that there is no difference between the heart failure, CV death, and renal failure deterioration, both diabetic and non-diabetic patient using SGLT2 inhibitors. This study is top early because the benefit was so much. 
तो व्हाट इज द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ नॉन डायबिटिक सिकेटी व्हाट इज द कॉजेज ऑफ नॉन डायबिटिक सिकेटी दैट इज ग्लोमिनेफ्राइटिस हाइपरटेंसिव नेफ्रोपैथी डज एनी पॉजिटिव साइन और पॉजिटिव साइट दैट कैन हेल्प दिस नॉन डायबिटिक सिकेटी बाय एस जी एल टू इनिवेटर यस हाउ इट एक्ट वी नो इट डिक्रीज द इंटर ग्लोबेरुलर प्रेशर and all of us know the hyperfiltration is the most common cause for renal glomerular injury it decreases interglomerular pressure lead to decrease the injury of the glomerulus due to any cause second positive side that is it is decrease the uh, electrolyte to the uh, macula densa and it decrease the uh, expression of the gene for msgl2 lead to uh, decrease the uh, mm, uh, supply of sodium chloride to distal and it is has some effect in bp control as it acts as osmotic diuretics it causes the decrease the body weight uh, this is beneficial for uh, obese patient who uh, causes the proteinuria and we know obesity is one of the cause that is uh, causes the mm, uh, non dkd So, so uh, we have the basic management for CKD for non-diabetic patient is diet control, and on the top of RAS block, we should uh, recommend it that uh, we use the GLT two inhibitors uh, with this uh, uh, inhibitor and ARB plus. Uh, we can use uh, some beneficial effect in the long run. I think my opponents, doctor, uh, will. cause some negative uh, we we'll say some negative factor about glp2 inhibitor i want to say there is no drug have uh, negative effect or uh, adverse effect but as a doctor we should uh, think about our patient and we think judge our risk benefit about the uh, drug if it is beneficial then the risk we should accept it thank you all thank you dr hasinatul jannat her time